family of a 25 years old male and uh, he has uh, palpable lymph nodes in this region at the soup. At the cervical region here and as well as in the submandibular region. This is the mandibular line there. Similarly, there are a few lymph nodes seen again in the cervical and in the submandibular region. However, they are more on this side as compared to the right side. They sonographically appear to be of benign cause because they have a central ecogenic line within it as that is fat. This is the thyroid gland and you can see this is the common carotid artery. Common carotid artery, left lobe of the thyroid, right lobe of the thyroid. So the thyroid is spared bit open. And this is the longitudinal section of the thyroid with the common carotid artery coursing posteriorly. This is the left lobe of the thyroid and this is the common carotid artery. So now I am going to move the probe in the major bit of it. Now moving the probe towards the submandibular region as well as the cervical region, you will see multiple. Now these are all nodes. This is a lymph node. 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 This one. So if you want to make sure, give a sweep to the probe and see if these hypochoic, well demarcated structures change their shape or if they don't shape, change their shape, concentrate on this one. That's it. Now I have given almost one 80 degree sweep to the probe and you see none of these that I marked, that I showed you, guess, uh, uh, changes their shape. Otherwise, had it been a blood vessel, it would have changed its shape. So there are lymph nodes. Now these are again lymph nodes. These are one, two, three, and uh, rather there is a chain of lymph nodes that is that you can follow up to the submandibular region. This, this is the most submandibular region and the largest one in this region. Now I'm please keep an eye on this one. I'm going to give a sweep to the probe to see if it changes its shape. Now it has not changed its shape. This is the largest one in this region and this is the submandibular region. Uh, lymph node measuring 30 by 16 centimeter. Similarly, there are multiple adjacent lymph nodes in the submandibular region. This one, this one, this one. And uh, however, So this is the story on the left side. On the right side, and I, this is the thyroid. This is the right lobe of the thyroid, this one. Right lobe of the thyroid. And uh, with now longitudinal section of the thyroid. This is the longitudinal section of the thyroid. This is the common carotid artery and uh, here you come with the lymph nodes in the cervical region. This is a lymph node. Again, this is a lymph node. Apply the same maneuver and they do not change their shape. At least you can see that these two, they didn't change their shape. Uh, they remain the same. There is no posterior wall acoustic enhancement and you can see a central scar within this. Now this measures 21 by 11 millimeter with central scar, linear structure, tiny linear structure. So this is suggestive of its being benign origin, of benign origin. In this, uh, now I am moving towards the cervical region. This is a lymph node, and uh, when I give the sweep, I give a sweep to the probe, keeping the probe in the center, uh, the lymph node in the center of the citrine, 
it almost retains its shape here I have given almost 180 degree sweep and you see it retains its shape this one so this is the case of uh, cervical as well as submandibular lymph nodes of possible benign cause thank you very much